Do you love Florida? Good morning, everyone. Where are we going today, Duncan? <laughs> Disney World. Well, yeah. today we're going to Orlando, but Disney World is there. Uh -huh. Did you want to take a special trip to Disney World while we're in yeah. Florida? Okay, maybe we'll do that. So we are actually going to Orlando for a special event called Playlist Live. Before we even do that, though, we are going to have a major adventure, go do all sorts of stuff. Maybe go to some theme parks. While we're in Florida, we might as well go to some theme parks. What do you think? Hmm, we should have some adventures, right? And in the past, we've done one suitcase with four kids. Now we have five kids, and it was a little bit trickier to pack for five. Especially when one of the kids is a little tiny baby who needs more things brought with him to a place. But we did it. We got everything into one suitcase, which we checked and it's a little bigger than the one we, we took last time, but it's, it fit everything, so that's good. And then each of us has a personal item, so like here's my personal item here, and that gets put under the seat by our feet. And we're racing Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom? Yeah. Oh wow, you got plans. <laughs> Another thing that's a little different is we're bringing a stroller this time, which we're gonna gate check. So we're not, that goes onto the plane, but at the very last minute. So that's a really cool thing. If you've never traveled with a baby before, they let you take the stroller all the way up to the gate so you don't have to carry the baby the whole time and check your stroller when you check all the regular luggage. You can actually bring it all the way up to the gate and when they take your ticket for you to go on the airplane, you leave the stroller by the... Yeah, they take your ticket. Yeah. Yes. And then you leave the stroller Ticket. You have a ticket? No. No. I need to buy a ticket. I already bought your ticket. I have it. Do you want to hold it once we're on the airplane? No, I'm right on. I'm on. Oh, it's not that kind of ticket. It's like a little paper ticket. It's not a wristband. Anyway, you can take a stroller all the way up to the door of the airplane and you leave it there and then they put it under the airplane with all the rest of the bags. And for most airlines, that's a free thing. You don't have to pay to check a stroller or a car seat. And there's one more item. I'm not sure if it's getting checked at the gate and put under the plane or if it's coming into the plane with me because it is kind of a delicate thing. It's this little thing right here. It's a special surprise that I'm giving away to somebody at Playlist Live. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen pictures of this. I'm very excited about it. I can't wait to give it away. It's such a cool opportunity to be able to give a guitar to one of you guys, the people that watch us. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, so I'm really excited that we're bringing a guitar with us to Orlando to give away at this special event. And you might notice that we have one more person in our party. We have a babysitter coming with us this time. We've never done that going to Orlando, but we thought with the new little baby and with Duncan, we might need another pair of hands and eyes to help out with the kids. So our babysitter Faith is coming with us. We're really excited to have her. And, uh, and yeah, let's go to Orlando. Big smile. Where's your smile? Are you on an airplane? Are you on the airplane? Are you flying? Are you on the airplane? Are they being on the airplane? Wow. They just brought back our stroller and it's completely broken. The wheel won't turn. You can see the whole, this whole thing is all shattered. And I bought this giant bag with a baby bottle on it. 
that says fragile. It is almost 3 a.m. It took us a very, very long time to get our rental car. Anyway, we are at our rental house and we're just checking it all out. Duncan's very excited about the upstairs area, so let's go check that out real quick. Let's check it out. Here yeah. we go. Up the stairs. Where am I going? In, in my room. In your room? This is your room? Whoa! It even has curtains that are Mickey Mouse. That this are gymnastics. is a cool yeah. room. Gymnastics and Mickey Mouse. And then it's Donald doing gymnastics on the bar over there. I'll go show you. Oh my goodness, it is. They are doing gymnastics. <laughs> Isn't that fun? This is such a room for you. Look That's at all these Mickeys. And I this is my room and it got the bathroom. There's another room over here? Yeah. Whoa, this room. Um, what is that? It just has light. just has lightsabers on the wall? <laughs> and there's a bed right here to you be Who is this? Who is Darth that? Darth Vader. Darth Vader? Who is this? Do you know who this is right here? Huh? Who is that? Darth Vader? No, it's not Darth Vader. Who is that? I know. Yoda. Yoda! Yeah. Yoda is over there too. What? There's a second Yoda? This is my childhood dream room. Look at this bathroom. So that was the up the stairs area. And then there's two big bedrooms. I think they're like the same bedrooms. They're just decorated different. I'm trying to decide. Here. And over here. Like this one for us better. You like this one for well, us? So we have some friends staying with us, I think in a couple days. So, and it's a mom and a son. And I think this one has a smaller dresser and that one has a bigger dresser. So I was thinking maybe that would be better for them. What do you think? I don't know. Yeah, whatever, whatever's clever. I don't know why. I, I mean, we're two people. For some reason, I was thinking of us as one person <laughs> and them as two people. No, oh my no, gosh, no, I'm so no, tired. No, it is Daddy. definitely very much 3 a.m. We've yeah, been traveling all day. This one too. Oh, where are you showing me? Oh my goodness. Don't run. Don't run. You can go quick. There's more up here yeah. that I didn't see? Yeah. Oh, this doesn't look like a room. This looks like... Something else. Yeah. Oh yes, it's the heating unit. Uh -huh. We aren't gonna open this door anymore, okay? Yeah. So are you sleeping in this room, the Mickey Mouse room tonight? Yeah. Awesome. There's a TV in it. Oh my goodness. And you watch movies on it and it says Mickey Mouse. Do you love Florida? Yeah! Yeah? Is this place just so, so super cool? Mm, yeah. Mm. Hmm, let me think about it. Yeah. yeah. And there's a bath. There's a bath. There's a bath in there? Yeah. Whoa. Did you see that we have a pool? Huh? We have a pool? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the pool right there. I'm not gonna go out there right now, because it's late at night, but. We might play out there a couple times. Check it out. Do you see the pool? No. No, you don't see it? Yeah. That's a cool pool. So I don't know if we gave an update or not on our stroller, but we actually took the stroller to the like baggage claim area, baggage claim like help desk or something. I've never done this before. When the stroller came out and it was broken and it was like our precious stroller that was, you know, you guys know what the stroller means to me. It was a pretty big bummer. Like Christopher and I handled drama, I feel like kind of in stride, but we were both like, 
<laughs> we were kind of losing our minds in a very calm sort of way and both like I could tell we were both thinking like this is gonna be a huge thing now. Like this is gonna be a fight with the airline or a fight with insurance or a fight with something and it was just gonna be like a big hassle. It was actually amazing. Like I have never dealt with baggage claim stuff before. I went into it just like pretty tense and like, oh, this is gonna be really bad. And they were the nicest humans I've ever experienced. They were so sweet right away. They were like, yeah, we're gonna fix everything. Like, don't even worry about it. First of all, he looked at it and he was like, you know, I think that's just a part. I don't think it's the whole stroller. It looks like it's just the wheel and often you can just replace the wheel and that'll be faster for you guys. And we we're like, whatever we can do so that this stroller works for us on our trip is like, that's all we want. <laughs> and he just on his own searched like how we could get the replacement part as fast as we could. And I was like, well, what if we like overnight shipped it? And he was like, yep, whatever you need. Like the airline will cover whatever you need to get it back to how it should have been. And it was like, the best customer experience like ever that I could have imagined. Like really, really seriously, so impressed. It was with JetBlue. So hey JetBlue, <laughs> thank you so much. And the flight was great. Like everything about the JetBlue experience, except for the fact that our stroller did get broken. And I was so proud because we got like this super extra like travel bag that I spent money on to try to protect my stroller. And um, it's still, shattered um or at least the wheel did it was really amazing like it was a very bad thing that i was really worried about happening and then it happened and we were like mm. and then it wasn't so bad like i was just i was so impressed with how the airline handled it um obviously it's not completely resolved yet like we still have to go through the pro process and then actually get reimbursed and by the way this isn't because we make youtube videos like they didn't know that we made youtube videos we weren't vlogging we weren't talking about like filming things or like being dramatic like it was genuinely an amazing customer service experience experience so I just want to like give props to that and just be really appreciative of that because you don't always see that anymore especially in busy places like airports which leads us to our next adventure I reserved like four months ago a rental car that would fit our whole family and our babysitter which is eight people what is it a suburban yeah big so one of those big thing. long cars and I was like oh this is gonna be wild we have this big car we got there Christopher had to wait in line for an hour and then when he got to the front of the line and they were like, oh, we don't have that car. <laughs> Christopher was like, what? what? <laughs> okay. Like, and she was like, yeah, we don't have that. Um, we have another car, um, but you just have to pay the same amount. Like it was, it was like very oddly unhelpful. She said to me multiple times, I can't do nothing. I can't like, do nothing. I can't do nothing. And Christopher that. was just going like, he was asking questions like, can I get an itemized bill? Because we had reserved for this larger, different car, but then it was the same price and like it's a smaller car. And she was like, I can't, I can't do nothing. You just have to sign that I agree and accept the terms. That you weren't allowed to see the terms. You had to push the agree button. It was the weirdest thing. I've, and I, it, it just was seemed so wrong and things like that stress me out a lot because I don't like seeing injustice happen because I can just imagine all the people, all the stressed families, all the people who are, traveling because something horrible happened like maybe they're going to a funeral or something it just it doesn't seem fair to me when you if i didn't return my car on time and i didn't ma meet what i promised in the reservation i would pay like there would be a fee and there would be issues with with them like they would have a problem with that and that that bothers me i don't like seeing business practices that are just like wrong i don't know if i should say the name of the car rental company but or not like I, I I feel like there's something we need to do so if, if you guys know how maybe the best way to report this if there's a better way for us to make a difference there I guess I want to do that yeah how um, do we budget this out oh you ready for bed no <laughs> no it's 3 a.m. oh <laughs> but I gotta go to bed I need to show him a couple more things though a den living room area a dining room area here, okay. and then there's a kitchen, here. Drink water. Drink water, here. A nice little breakfast nook. I love a breakfast nook. There's another bathroom, and another bedroom, a game room. Which has a movie. Which has a movie theater in it. Movie theater, game room, what are we playing here? Asteroids, quicks. How does this work? Uh, it's confusing. 
and a little foos. One other thing that I forgot to mention is that there's gonna be another family staying with us this year. We, every year we get these houses and there's always like a room or two left over that we aren't using and so we always invite people to come over <laughs> throughout the year and someone actually said yes this year, which yay. So the kids, friend Gavin Thomas and his mom Kate are gonna be staying here with us. And so they'll be here in a couple days. Uh, they're gonna go to the parks with us and just, you'll see them around. So just wanted to let you know who's gonna be here and yeah, I'm excited. This trip's gonna be awesome. Hi. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that Duncan's got some big plans for this trip. We learned that bag that you bought for your stroller isn't gonna protect it, even if it does have a bottle on it. And finally, we learned that Parker is definitely not tired. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thank you.